So you think if the government knew someone had stolen your identity, they'd tell you about it, right? Wrong. A new inspector general's report revealing the IRS failed to inform more than a million Americans that their Social Security numbers were stolen, some being used by illegal immigrant workers. So, Rich, I wonder what would happen if we didn't inform the IRS of critical information like that. <laughs> well, you know, if you ran a publicly traded company and you didn't disclose a hack like this, um, you know, you would be uh, liable. Uh, you'd have shareholder lawsuits all over the place. This just proves that in addition to the IRS being the bullying, incompetent organization it has always been, it is now corrupt in a way that, that is just mind-boggling, from uh, targeting uh, uh, political enemies to, to now this. Yeah, and, and Bill, in the private sector, we already have an example. Target uh, was being hacked, and, and they didn't uh, do the due diligence of informing their, their clients. As, at, at least according to the government, a lot of people suffered as a result of that in Target. I still support the IRS, and here's why. Ten immigrants, ten hardworking immigrants, get jobs by using Rich's Social Security number. At that point, the IRS assigns temporary ID numbers to each of the ten. Rich's earnings history is not disturbed. Rich, how are you harmed? <laughs> what do you think of that, Mike? Well, I think that basically what's happening here is the IRS is spending more and more taxpayer money on trying to catch these identity theft crooks without much success. In 2013, they paid out $5.8 billion worth of fraudulent tax returns mm -hmm. due to identity theft. I think what would go a long way was if they stopped paying refunds using prepaid debit counts. The crooks use that because it helps them from getting caught with great success. But just in terms uh, of our own safety, Bruce, I mean, in terms of, of what we have a right to know as taxpayers, one would assume we have the right to know if somebody's st stolen our ID. Well, I mean, I, I read the, this report, and they said that they'll be notifying people in January and understand that's not prompt. But one of the reasons why they did not go after people right away is because they want to make sure and try to get these folks, you know, who are tr trying to avoid taxes to pay taxes. And I think this could be solved with a comprehensive immigration bill to give these people some kind of an ID so they're paying yeah. taxes. Well, that, that might solve a piece of the problem, but the main piece, uh, Sabrina, the fact that they're not informing people when their IDs have been sold. By the way, they have, as, as Bruce suggested, they did come out with this response. I'll read it from the IRS. Uh, they stated that it has scheduled programming changes that will be implemented in January 2017 to notify taxpayers when the IRS has reason to believe that they may be the victims of identity theft. But I, you know, frankly, I don't have much hope in them fulfilling Filling that promise. No, so that's six months away, David. Yeah. You know, since Steve isn't here today, I'm just going to sort of throw it out there that maybe one solution to this is having a flat tax, getting rid of the IRS, and simplifying things all over the place. Uh, that being said, I do think that the IRS does need um, to notify people. You know, someone using your social security number to get a job is the least of your problems if you have identity threat. It, it can extend all the way to your health records Absolutely. and all sorts of other problems. So I think that this is really fraudulent and, and um, can't wait until January. And we're not dollars. talking about a small amount of people. There's a million people. Yeah. Uh, there, there does seem to be this idea that, that we are the slaves of the IRS. It's not the other way around, that, that they're supposed to be the public servants, but in this case, it's flipped. Yeah, and they're uh, blatantly political, too. The reason they don't disclose is that they know if they did, uh, even if uh, Bill Baldwin is right and there's no immediate harm, they know if they disclose this, it would turn even more people against this rampant immigration fraud we have in the United States. It would be bad for Hillary Clinton and good for yeah. Donald Trump. I think I think you hit your nail on, uh, hit the nail on the head, Bill. This is a political issue right now. That's why they're waiting until 2017 to solve it. Yeah. Well, it may be a political issue, but I think it's a good thing that the IRS has figured out how to collect billions in taxes from hardworking immigrants. All right, Mike. Again, Bill doesn't think anybody's harmed. I'm harmed by it. I don't want my information being used by somebody else. Of course, and you don't know where else besides the IRS your identity is right. going, David. Yeah. It's not just isolated to the IRS necessarily, but the problem is, is that the best I cyberspace crooks aren't working for the IRS. If I ever run for president, one issue, get rid of the IRS. That's the only thing I'm going to run on, get rid of the IRS. <laughs> Rich is giving me two thumbs I'm up. I'm voting for you.